All right, guys. Thank goodness for blue skies. Honestly, I didn't think we were going to get this video done today. When I got up this morning, it was rainy and dreary and cold, and uh, it just looked nasty outside. So, thank the Lord the sun has come out and the skies are blue. And fingers crossed, we're going to get our project done today. So, today, we're going to do something that we've been wanting to do, but just hadn't had a chance to. And today, we are going to wax that green tarp and uh, see if we can't get this thing waterproof. Let's get it. So now as you can see, we've only got one of the tarps set up here and there's a reason for that. Today, we're only gonna wax one of these things. Now, I looked all over the internet for recipes and I have seen a hundred different recipes. But there's one recipe that kept popping back up and that's the one i'm going to use today and uh hopefully if it goes right we'll wax the other one if not we'll make some changes Well guys, we got everything set up and ready to go except for the wax. The wax is still melting. As you can see, I've got that wax in just a tiny little crock pot melting. And uh, what we're doing is a two to one mix ratio. Um, two parts paraffin wax and one part beeswax. And uh, I've seen a lot of different recipes and I wanted to use all wax. I didn't want to use uh, turpentine or mineral spirits or boiled linseed oil. I wanted to use just wax. And uh, that's just, you know, something I had in my own head. Um, I know there's a lot of different recipes out here, but that's what I wanted to do. But as you can see, the beeswax has melted down pretty good, but the paraffin wax is taking a little while. Fingers crossed we'll be able to get uh, this stuff melted down and start applying it before the sun goes down. You know how I am with chasing daylight. All right, now we're getting somewhere, I think. Okay, so the very first thing we did was throw this tarp in the washing machine, wash it down real good, and dry it. And one of the things that I noticed right off the bat in the washing machine was this tarp wasn't absorbing any of the water. It was already water resistant. Um, so the first thing we did, throw it in the washing machine, wash it, dry it, and what that does is that actually uh, makes the knit a lot tighter. It draws the fibers together and uh, that should help it be a little more waterproof in itself. I'm gonna just go ahead and take you through everything we're gonna be using today. So obviously we're gonna be using the green tarp. Um, we're gonna use beeswax pellets. Now I opted to go with the uh, paraffin wax blocks probably should have went with the pellets. They seem to melt faster. Now we're gonna be also using some paint brushes, just the cheap ones, a stir stick, and then you're gonna need a heat gun or an iron. Now, I decided to go ahead and use the heat gun, but, but you could use the iron, but once you use it, you're not gonna to wanna to use it on your clothes anymore because there will be residual wax on it. getting there slowly but surely you know all these other youtubers that are uh, complaining about airplanes flying over and stuff you guys need to get down here on my level man I have got a grown man riding a kid's four-wheeler in circles nonetheless in his front yard just constantly revving it for no reason donkey brain every time i almost get finished with what i'm trying to say and then somebody over here sounds like they're doing some sort of military operation and unloading a rifle boy it's frustrating trying to get these videos made i wish that i lived in an area that was more remote we're in a little five acre farms area out here and uh just makes it kind of tough sometimes 
all right guys so we are finally melted man that took a long time um if i was going to give you any suggestions on this or advice i would definitely say go ahead and get the beads and not the bars that took forever but now we're all mixed up let's get to applying some wax to this canvas Boy, that doesn't look very good, does it? Hmm. That does not seem to be working like I wanted it to. Hmm. Okay. So I've got the heat gun. Let's try to see if the heat gun is gonna push this down in there at all. Well, that appears to have been a fail. Um, I don't know if that's just because it's so cold out here, or maybe it's because that tarp is so cold that it's actually uh, not sinking in. It's just sitting on top and cooling. So I've got the iron. I'm gonna go ahead and iron a section, warm up that tarp, and then uh, apply it there and see if it works. If not, this tarp may be relegated to the testing pile and I may have to end up getting a new tarp. So um not a huge deal you know they're not that expensive but uh that just goes to show you that all that searching and researching that i did and still come up with something that's not going to work it's so funny though because if you notice it looked like that the uh, the wax is just beating up on top of that tarp so i don't know i may end up just getting some nick wax and spraying the whole thing down with nick nick wax and calling it a day i don't know but I'm letting the iron heat up right now, and then uh, I'm gonna iron this thing down and see if that helps. Now, if you see it, this definitely stiff. You can see that it did penetrate, and uh, we're getting the kind of the look, but you can see the wax is just setting on top, looks like. So, I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna try to heat this tarp up and see if heating it up will actually allow it to penetrate. All right, let's see what that does. Back in. And it immediately turns white and dries on there, so something is not right. it in see what happens can't get much worse I don't think I'm gonna 
owe my wife a new iron now. See, there's still some lighter spots in here. Well guys, this sucks. This is obviously not how I wanted this thing to go. And I did a lot of research to try to figure out the best way to do this and uh, what I thought was gonna work the best, but apparently it's back to the drawing board. So I'm gonna try a few more things here and uh, see what works and what doesn't work. And uh, I don't know. Okay, so up to this point here is just wax. So I think I'm going to end up trying something that I didn't really want to try. I'm going to end up trying one part boiled linseed oil. Um, that was in a lot of the recipes, boiled linseed oil. And it doesn't have a super strong odor. Um, the drawback for me was the fact that, if any of you guys know... Uh, boiled linseed oil on rags can spontaneously combust so Not super excited about trying that but it like I said it was in a lot of the recipes so I'm gonna use roughly one part uh, Boiled linseed oil one part beeswax and then two parts paraffin wax. Let's just see how it does so from here down I'm gonna try the uh, wax with boiled linseed oil Yeah, I just don't like it. It actually seems like it made it worse. I don't know. I don't like it. Well guys, I tried wax on its own. I tried heating the canvas up with the iron prior to waxing. And I tried it with boiled linseed oil added. And then I tried just a light coat on there and ironing it in. And to be honest with you, it's just not doing what I wanted it to do. It was just going on so thick. And uh, I mean, it's very very stiff 
which I knew it would be, and I would, you know, break it down, but as you wrinkle it, it gets kind of um, white and, and flaky on it. Now, the area with the boiled linseed oil is definitely more pliable, um, but I just don't like that one. I, I don't like with the boiled linseed oil. Um, I don't feel comfortable with it. And then the end down here where I just went a light coat on it, um, it's just, it's not covering enough. It, I would have to go heavier on it, so. I don't know. I don't know at this point what I'm going to do. Well, guys, I decided what the hell. I've already got it mixed up and I've already got it applied to part of the tarp so let's just go ahead and apply it to the rest of it iron it in and just see how it does it's not gonna hurt anything the tarps already started so uh, worst comes to worst we use this tarp for making bags or something like that and then I end up having to get another tarp anyway so let's just go with it Well guys, I think this is going to end up having to be a two-part video. Uh, just not liking the way this thing is working out, and uh, I don't see any see any point in keeping on progressing with it. I think it was Thomas Edison that said that he didn't fail 999 times when inventing the light bulb. He learned 999 ways it wouldn't work. Well, if that's the case, then we learned a few ways here that it won't work. Now, I'm not 100% sure why it's not working on here. Uh, maybe it's because this tarp is already treated with something, and that's why it's just not soaking in as good as I would like it to. Or maybe it's the mixture that I'm using. Um, I don't know, it's just not working. So I think that we're gonna call it for today. I know it seems like I say it a lot, but it's not always a win. Sure would be nice to get a win every now and then though, but you know, it is discouraging. I'm not gonna lie, it's discouraging, but um, we'll figure it out. You know, that's just, it's all part of it. Um, if you like these kind of videos, hit that subscribe button for me. If you'd like to support our channel and help us out with projects like this, go to our description there's a link for our patreon and uh we'd love for you to join our patreon team and help us out you know pay for projects like this so um if you like this video don't forget to hit that like button down there and uh appreciate you guys watching i'll see you next time